Hey everyone, my name is Betty and I'm with Shore Life Creations. I'm here today to show you how to box up a wreath like this in a box like this to ship out to your customers. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a box that your wreath will fit in. I'm going to use this box that is a 22 by 22 by 6. First, we have to put the box together. And this might be easier for you to do on the floor where it's not so high up. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to do it here on my table. Okay, make sure you squish your box close together. I usually twist it and hold it. Your tape dispenser. You can use a tape dispenser like this one. I will put the link in the comments where you can find it or just one of the pre-made dis dispensers you can get from Walmart in different places, depending on how much shipping you do. If you don't do a lot, then you don't need a big dispenser. I take the bottom in the middle, I come back with extra tape on each side of the middle. We don't want our wreath coming out of the box. That is for sure. Okay, then I use a little tape on each end like so. All right. That has her bottom. Now sometimes if I have a heavy wreath, I'll go this way and you know the bottom's not going to bust open. <coughs> Flip your box over. All right. Open your box, take your wreath, make sure before you box your wreath that everything in the back is nice and clean. I just finished making this wreath, so I have a few wires to cut off. So let's do that now. The wires that put the sign and the bow on. So I just take my wire cutters. And snip the wires off. And there should be one more right there. I use green floral wire so it blends in with the wreath base. And nobody will even see it. Okay, then make sure you push your wires inward. So there's nothing, oops, I missed one. So there's nothing to scratch your customer's door. Always think about if it was on your door, what you would want. Very important. All right, all my wires are pushed in. I will take my wreath and set it inside the box. Now, you see we have some berries poking out, so we're going to fold those down a little bit. Okay, and our next step will be to protect our bow. What I do is I will take tissue paper or bubble wrap, whatever you have, I'm going to 
Just take pieces of this, roll it out, and put it in your loops. That way, when your wreath is jostled around, or the top gets pushed on it, it doesn't disfigure and mash your bow. Your customer wants to see the wreath that they saw in your shop. They don't want to see something all crumpled up that they've got to fix. Now granted, there is always just a little bit of repositioning or fluffing of the bow. When it arrives to a customer's home. But we want to minimize that as much as possible. So I always stuff the top loops with paper. So hopefully they don't have too much that they have to do when the bow gets to their house. We all want things pretty when they arrive, okay? Next, don't forget, you have to print out your shipping invoice. This also goes in your box, along with, I do a thank you card, letting the customer know how much I appreciate them purchasing from my shop. I put that in the box. Then I get some bubble wrap. I would normally use bigger sheets of bubble wrap, but I'm out. So we're gonna use the smaller sheets here and just cut them and lay them down. As long as you've got some protection going on, you want your wreath to be nice and tight in your box. So that when the nice UPS people are throwing it around and throwing things on top of it, you've got your wreath protected. Again, just an extra step. Go that extra little mile to make your wreath look as pretty as it was when they saw it in the shop. All right, so we've got that all tucked in. We've got our wreath. We have our shipping paper. We have our thank you note. We're ready to close it up. So, push your sides together tight. And we will do the same thing on the top that we did on the bottom, making sure we have enough tape. And that the box is secure, just like so. Now this is when you would print out your shipping label. If you're shipping from ship station or pirate ship or wherever you ship from. This one I'm taking to the post office. I seem to get cheaper rates this, since this wreath is going to California. So I hand wrote an address label. I will add it here with my return address. And then I have a little thank you sticker I will put here. And this wreath is ready to go. There you have it. Easy way to ship your wreaths. Take your time. Go that extra mile so that when your customer opens this box, they're just as happy as when they saw it in your shop. In your shop.